And welcome back. Again, we are looking at the equation for May 12th. So we are told that our tank holds 2,450 gallons of fuel. The changes in the number of gallons are shown over three days. So I'm going to start by, I want to do, I have a positive 2,450 gallons. I'm going to start by looking at what I'm given. I'm given a negative 1,208, positive 790, and a negative 514. I'm going to subtract, then add, then subtract again, giving me a correct answer of 1,518. If you added all these numbers up, you would have gotten answer D. If you subtracted everything, you've gotten 62. Or if you forgot that you were subtracting this all from 2,450, you would have gotten 728. If you subtracted everything, you actually got a negative 62, and you can't have a negative amount of fuel in a tank. So good job. Um, I'm going to switch over to tomorrow's because now we're going to look at what we have to do for today. So this is actually, this was taken right from a PSSA style question that was released. And so is today's question. So today's question is starring our one and, all, one and only, one of our favorite guys, Mr. Angelo. He works hard. He does so much for our school. Um, he decided that in order to keep the grass looking green, the flowers, everything while everybody's out, he decided to dig a trench to put in a new sprinkler system. So for every quarter hour, every one fourth of an hour, the length of his trench increases by two thirds of a foot. So by how much does the length in feet of Mr. Angelo's trench increase each hour? Now, there's a couple of ways of going about this, but we need to remember a quarter of an hour. You guys have say, like you've asked me in class, Mr. What time is it? I'll say uh, quarter to 10 or quarter, to, quarter after eight, a quarter hour, one quarter hour is equal to one fourth of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. And two thirds of a foot, remember one foot is the same as 12 inches. Now you can convert this to minutes, convert this to inches, but in our question, we're being asked for the length in feet, how much it increases each hour. So by the, so in a quarter hour, it increases two thirds of a foot. How many quarter hours are in an hour? Well, how many quarters are in a dollar? Quarter means you've divided something into four. So for every one fourth of an hour, it increases by two thirds of a foot. So what's our correct answer? It's either gonna be one sixth of a foot, three sevenths of a foot, 11 twelfths of a foot, or eight thirds of a foot. Again, just like last time, I'm looking for the correct answer and how you got that correct answer. So you're getting graded on two different things for this. The correct answer and how you got to that correct answer. All right, as always, if you have any questions, please come and find me. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Say bye, Ava.